Got a little goosebump there. Well, guys, we are here to do a spacey score now on Gorilla, uh, Gorilla, Godzilla versus Kong. And of course, we did Kong and we did Godzilla, the individual tables. This is the last one of the three. God, that sounds, that sounds so good. Uh, so yeah, let's see. Is this the finale of the uh, of the set? Let's get in and see if this is the epic end of the trilogy. Stay tuned. Shoot for the flashing lamp to perform a skill shot. All right. Skill shot attempt failed. Miss the skill shot with a rather a matter of fact voice over there. <laughs> skill shot failed. Let's see if this third table is up there with the first two. And one thing I will say, guys, is that this particular table in cabinet mode, you know, it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit short, as you can see. And if you try any of the other cab cabinet view camera views, there is actually a couple camera views which gives you a more fuller table. But the, the camera moves when you're shooting the ball, the, ca the play field moves. Um, and again, this is one of the things that Zen needs to sort out is, you know, give some really useful camera options in cabinet mode that don't scroll around and, and carry on. So be aware of that, the cabinet mode. All right, let's get back. Shoot for the flashing lamp to perform a skill shot. I don't don't like that. Skill shot attempt missed. I don't like that, that call out, I don't know why. It just sounds a little bland. Alright, let's get into this table now. Interesting. Oh, got that sort of little trapdoor hole in front of the bumpers there. So it sort of stops you from, I mean, you've got the ramp in between, I guess, over on the left. Get that shot. Oh, okay. Oh, hmm. Okay. Seems quite wide, that shot, but just trying to get into that angle. It's interesting, you've got the bumpers right there. Okay, straight down the middle. Got the multiplier increase at least, we're getting the three rollovers at the top. This in this. Oh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's that's not good. That's not good. That's all good. we've got time for on Titan Trackers today, my wonderful listeners. Be sure to follow this podcast to hear about all the most recent sightings of these glorious Titans. Oh, no. Tomorrow, for all the latest Titan news. No, 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 no. This whole podcast thing and this voiceovers is, is not what you want on a finale. Ah. Uh, all right, well, the flashing lamp to perform a skill shot. Oh, so skill far. <laughs> oh. Okay, shoot the main sinkhole to start a mode. And, and that's right in the middle there again. I've just got to get back in there, right? Let's just see if we can start something here. If I can actually get that shot. Okay. Oh no, shoot the main sinkhole. Evacuation. Take okay, alert. well I did. This is not a drill. Okay, we got a little All animation exit happening exit here, which is pretty cool to be honest. Exit. Breaking news here, listeners. Godzilla has been seen approaching the Apex facility in Florida. Let's hope our friends over at Titan Food Podcast are no longer in the vicinity. This Titan doesn't look like he's paying a friendly visit. I'm not going to say anything more about those call-outs. <laughs> oh, wow. It did not, that did not flow. I've been too, too used to actually playing some of the, uh, 
the older tables in our series, guys, and um, used the ball flying around so fast, and that didn't. And that was probably okay, to be honest. Whoa. Okay, that's nice. That's not. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Get the extra. Yep. Multipliers, the multipliers there. I'll get that middle ramp. So. Personnel Whoa. this way. Let's go, let's go. The effects are so nice. Fighter jets being deployed, Captain. Whoa. Okay, that's, that's a cool sound of the fighter jets. Yeah, now we're cranking. Fin from the fighter jet. But where, 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 where? Up the right, left, hand, uh, left hand side, you know? Where I've got to go. This is having near. no effect on that monster. Okay, okay. Oh shit. <laughs> Watch out! Incoming Here we go. Attack. All right, this is, this is cranking. This is this has saved the game so far. Because I was getting worried this there. Going to give up. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's still hard to get up that, that that ramp and it shouldn't be. I feel like I'm bricking a lot of shots. Fighter jets being deployed, Captain. Here we go. And interesting, that fighter jet came straight down the middle of the table, straight down here, and it made it look like the ball was coming off the table. Um, pretty sure similar thing with Tales of the Arabian Nights, when you get the fireball come get thrown down. Again, it looks good in desktop mode, can sort of flying at you to the side, but in cabinet mode, you can be tricked and think it's your ball flying off the table. Wow, there's some pretty nice effects and all of that. Okay, ball saved from the the lady I like so much. I can't. Squad, I can't. This facility is toast. <laughs> No doubt heard from Hyper Truth 246. Godzilla has totally wiped out the Apex facility. Okay, got to get into the mode again, into the sinkhole. What could have provoked I've the first sighting in over three years to lead to such destruction? Okay, okay. Settle down. No, oh, that's the way to get that ramp. Is to backhand it. Get back into a mode start if I can. Ah! Oh, that was my last call there too, guys. But yeah, I think that. That's all we've got time for on Titan Trackers today, my <laughs> wonderful listeners. That is all the time. This podcast to hear about all the most recent sightings oh. of these glorious Titans. Oh. Tune in tomorrow for all the latest Titan news. Oh my goodness, that's not good. That is not. Wow. <laughs> wow. Welcome fellow Titan Chasers to episode number 116 of the Titan Trackers podcast. Oh. Still no confirmed Titan sightings, though things appear to be heating up at Apex Cybernetics. We're hoping to get fresh info to you from the Apex Insider Titan Truth within the next few hours, so stay tuned. Oh, guys, okay, well, we're going to score this, and I don't know how this is going to turn out across the board. We're going to... Be objective though as we go through um that was interesting and, and in a different way than i thought it would be coming back to the table i have played it a couple of times before but not really focused on it and had it cranked up and you know really started to look at the table so um and it's been a while in between the other ones that we've been playing so wow okay well theme at the end of the day um you know the kong godzilla we know that it's a great theme two coming together is actually an epic theme 
and uh, and so just from a pure theme point of view and translating that into a table and something that you want to want to play Godzilla versus Kong it's cool it's a nine it's a definitely a nine on the theme guys atmosphere okay well atmosphere was a little drab not drab but it was a little same same but as soon as those fighter jets came in and and Godzilla was going crazy it was wow it really sort of brought you in made you feel very cinematic actually uh, so interestingly enough, it's going to be right up there. It doesn't continue all the way through, though, in terms of that feel, does it really? I don't think it really boots you out of that sort of atmosphere. So I'm going to give it... No, I'll give it an 8. It's going to give it a 9, but I don't think it's right there. Okay, layout and translation into a pinball table, guys. I think this is where, for whatever reason, it, it lets itself down. It's clunky. I don't like that doing that shot in between on the left hand side and the main shot seems to want to go towards the main mode but it, do, it sort of doesn't and so this left hand side feels really clunky and then just everywhere else I just wasn't you know this is going to impact flow as well but this, it just the layout to me it wasn't I don't know it wasn't nice I may be being a little too harsh but I think it's a six it's a six on layout um, table artwork there's some nice water effects in here by the way but that's more on the effects side the actual artwork itself is quite bland actually um, it's okay I mean it's good but again it reminds me of those sort of early stands where they cheaped out a little and got some photos and plonked it together in Photoshop now it's not that bad so <laughs> let's just be real here like there's some nice elements in here but it gives me that feeling so I think the artwork is going to be around a six animations some nice animations going on with the planes and everything and that um, which is more the effects the other thing but they're just the pure animations I guess yeah is uh, is good um, I think the effects were, were pretty awesome so first of all with the animations I think we're going to give it a seven and on the effects just with what was cranking and going on there a lot of that was was the you know the laser effects and and, and whatnot that just it was that was cool um, so I'm gonna give the effects a nine I think they're really nice um, lighting overall look it's good um, it's got the right sort of depth again and again as, as a latest release at the time of this filming uh, it's got that it's just a shame like you know you see here there could be better sh shading around here and on the floor and the ground around Godzilla there sort of like there's a bit more shading around oh, there is some there but it's not a lot but look at the end of the day it's 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 good uh it's solid i'm going to it doesn't mm, yeah it doesn't deserve a seven it should be an eight dmd dmd was pretty cool had some nice little animation effects and we got into those modes uh, again it's of the new type there's a really nice title screen this as well um and just within there it was pretty cool it was quite frantic actually me trying to beat around and doing a lot of these brick shots so it wasn't overly uh, on the screen but it looked pretty good so i'm going to give it a solid eight overall for the dmd the music is an interesting one the music is definitely fits the theme uh, it didn't get in the way too much um, it's quite nice actually but it's not awesome, so I'm going to give it a seven. Um, sound effects, this rumbling of uh, Godzilla and Kong, and all the sound effects that happened during that mode were explosive. They were very, very good. And I'm going to give sound effects a nine. It really did add to this table, guys. Call outs. <laughs> I think you know what I think about the call outs in this game. I don't like the, I mean, I just don't like the the whole theme and using the call outs and the way that they've been used. And it just, it's just, yeah, it's not good guys. I'm, I'm, this is going to be a shocker. This is going to be a two. I want those call outs to be gone. Way to turn them off. Um, they're not good. Flow, uh, as I said, very clunky. Um, doesn't flow very nice really at all. Uh, I think it's going to be quite harsh and it's going to be down at a five for flow guys the tables got to flow this really doesn't and it's part of that layout on the left hand side I don't really, really like that 
shot interest uh, again not a lot there in terms of that because I was actually wanted to get back into the mode which was my main shot interest because it was so cool <laughs> but everything else was sort of a bit bit I don't know I was a bit bland and sort of just standard sort of pinball sort of shots not not great so shot interest is about a six and that's probably being kind guys challenge um, look it was felt like a challenge I, I was but I'm just bricking shots and it was a weird sort of game guys I was sort of like just keeping the ball in the air and trying to go for shots and bricking and just trying to keep the thing active so the challenge factor was just yeah it wasn't really me feeling like this was challenging me for the right reasons and that's probably the key and so this one gets a five on challenge guys shame to damn shame physics feel uh yeah good um again it's uh, it's back to this latest physics uh, and I think there was nothing too wrong. It wasn't overly bouncy bouncy It was a bit more bouncy just because I was bricking stuff But I think we keep this one up at the eight level. It seems to be fairly consistent with the newer table. So that's good uh, Fun factor uh, I didn't I didn't have fun other than when we got into that mode and, and <laughs> it was actually pretty Pretty exciting get some points there for that um, But in between there before that happens, it's like uh so it would have been a five with the modes and getting into the where the planes come across and stuff. I think it, it can be bumped up a couple. It gets a seven um, for fun factor. And then we get into replayability. This is a tough one. I think I do want to come back to this table. I'm wondering if I get better at it and I start finding my shots more that I'm going to enjoy it more. I wonder if I get into some of the other modes that there could be even more modes that make this even more impressive. Um, so it's a little bit uh, a little bit hard to say, but I do I'm interested enough to come back and try it. The physics aren't annoying me, you know, like some of the other tables do. So I feel like I can come back to this and maybe I could just get better at it and and enjoy it more. So from that, that point of view, I am going to prop it up a little bit on the replayability, regardless of some of the harsher scores and the other areas. And I'll give it an I'll give it an eight because I will come back. I will come back, and then yeah, we'll see how it progresses and develops in the lineup. And for the final thing for the Spacey's X Factor, um, well, pretty epic battles and stuff. Um, that's sort of really about it as far as I could see with this table. There's nothing else amazing in here. Um, again, we start from zero with the X Factor and go up with a few points. And I think this one really only deserves probably about a three for the overall Spacey's X Factor on it. So there you go, guys. That gives us a Spacey score in our lineup. And uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see where that lines up with the original Kong and the original Godzilla separate tables but those two other tables were of course mint I'm sure this one compares fairly well and as a pack um, certainly three tables to have add to your collection that's for sure uh, mixed in you want to mix it in with some of your other tables as well just because you know having Kong and Godzilla theme back to back um, can be quite taxing um, but mixing it in with some of the other cool zen tables and you've really got a nice set here of course mix them in with some of the others there on the top of the list guys <laughs> so anyway that's it for godzilla vs kong looking forward to doing the next one guys until then make sure you like and subscribe and all that good stuff keep flipping ciao for now